this year's team, not only have they grown uh, as players, but they're also more comfortable with one another on the court. So all of last year was new for everybody. Um, the amount of freshmen that we had to play who are now sophomores, the amount of sophomores adjusting to them. Um, this year they've had an entire 12, 15 months together where they understand where they're going to be on the court. They understand who's going to make what play. Um, and so that knowledge and, and comfort with one another has lent itself well to making those critical plays uh, at the crunch time of the match. And, and they're just better. I mean, the freshmen have become sophomores, like I said, and, and so on and so forth. So their technical skill as an individual has gotten better, and their team unity and cohesion has become better as a group just because of the amount of time spent playing together. And just really kudos to all the girls who have stepped up. You know, they said they haven't made any excuses. They haven't blamed any circumstances. And they've just taken ownership of, you know what, this is my role and this is my time to shine. And they've gone out and gotten it done. And, and it speaks to a couple things. Number one, every single girl on this roster has prepared for this time. And she's prepared herself individually. So she's ready when the moment came. And it also speaks to, I mean, how quality our depth actually is. You know, there's not a person on the roster who can't go out there and compete for us. Um, and that comes from practice, and it comes from um, our coaching staff. You know, the assistants um, have done an amazing job with their position groups, preparing them, um, getting ready a scouting report, and just all the little small group work that we do in practice. They've really hunkered down and said, hey, here's what you have to do to be the best at your job, and our girls have uh, responded well to that. Oh, it's huge. This weekend is huge. Uh, number one, our explicitly stated goal as a team from the player side of things, they made the, an entire list of goals. Uh, the captains led the process as a team coming together and figuring it out. And they wanted to end the non-conference segment positive plus minus with wins and losses. So they're four and four now. We play three this weekend. It's the perfect opportunity to do so. Not to mention, you know, we won five games last year and we're already at four this year. And so if they kill two birds with one stone this weekend and they get positive plus minus with their wins losses and they kind of surge past that previous year's win mark, you know, going into conference season, what better confidence boost could you have that, yes, we're better than last year already and, yes, we're headed in the right direction. And just the knowledge, too, that we've played a more competitive schedule non-conference this year compared to last year. And so we've not only beaten better teams, but we're, we're winning more. Um, so both of those things combined, I mean, I think it's just huge for the team as a whole.